Okay, good afternoon everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Scrap Mechanic and I'm gonna be starting the day with some uh, farming, I guess. Uh, I did some improvements to the farming uh, setup. Well, not the improvements to the farming setup, but some more defenses. And let me show you what I have done and explain you why I did it. So this is my little farming area. Nothing much. I have a few crops here. Nothing much. I think I have 15 for now. And yeah, I placed first line of defense is these little walls here. But then I decided to expand a little bit, give me some more room. And there is a row of, um, what's it called? Wooden blocks. Then a row of those metallics weave blocks. Then a row of metal, metal tier two blocks. And then I started adding these uh, pillars somehow of uh, stone blocks, which I will be upgrading to concrete at some point. And the idea of this is to have another line of defense. And I have already tried it out and it seems to be working pretty nicely, actually. So let me place one more block up here. There you go. So the idea is the bots will come to the base. They will try to attack me, but they will get stuck on this. They will need to break these blocks before they can actually reach me. And actually, if I'm close enough to the to the uh, to the edge here i can hit them without them being able to hit me or i jump on here and i get a little bit closer and i should be able to defend this quite nicely the only problem i had was that uh, the stone i have used is a little bit too weak so i will have to upgrade that to concrete so i'm going to be doing that today so let me start with maybe a little montage of me doing this and then we can check uh, the rest of uh, of the episode for some more uh, farming so i will be replacing not everything at once because i don't think i have enough concrete to do everything at once but i can replace a couple of them already okay i i have concrete so the difference between the concrete and the stone let me show you this is the difference so the stone block, it has only three blocks of durability, so it breaks pretty fast. This one has, if I can see this correctly, five blocks of, of durability, so it's almost twice as strong. And that's why I'm going to be trying to replace these blocks. Like that. So it will require a lot more effort from, uh, from the bots to destroy these. And that should make my defense a little bit better, actually. So let me replace uh, at least some of those and then I will be right back. Okay, so why did I place those two blocks intervals? Well, I have one row and then two empties and one again because then I can run on that without falling in between the gaps. So that's fine. So now next up, I will be doing some planting. Uh, I think tomatoes and berries uh, like this. So I want two rows of, wait, I should wait. Okay, two rows of tomatoes for sure. Then let's say a row of beets. Then let's say a row of carrots. And let's add another row of beets. Okay, I can now get rid of the seeds. And this one too, put that up there. I don't need this one, pick up all the buckets. And actually already empty one. Now I need to water everything and we should be ready to go. I need to figure out an automated way to do this as well. Or something which is a little bit faster, a little bit easier. But that's going to be probably the next time. Okay, I'm ready. I have until next midnight approximately before they attack, which means... I'm ready to go do something else. I'm going to be exploring a bit, gathering some materials, probably get, getting some oil, checking the, the the little cave in there, and then I will be back for the attack or the raid. Okay, it's still uh, two minutes before the raid will happen, but I'm, I'm already heading in that direction. Um, I'm not sure what I will be getting. I hope not too much. Well, I did 15 crops. So, yeah, I'm not really sure what 15 crops will get you. <laughs> Normally I tend to get three little ones and one uh, farm bot. So we'll see what we get today. I'm probably ready for everything. I'm not sure, but we will see if this, <laughs> if 
is interesting enough. It's just the first line of defense, actually. Uh, I need to improve this a lot. Oh, look, I forgot to do this side. Okay, they are incoming. I see two little ones up there. Wait, that's all? Really? Okay, that's it. Well, that, that wasn't really all that impressive. Yeah, and the warnings are gone, so... Hmm, maybe I should add some more plots then. Yeah, I don't see anything else, so... It did kind of work. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, well... <laughs> That's uh, a little bit of an anti-climax. But yeah, we survived. <laughs> maybe maybe I should try another raid. I will go check if I can find some more uh, uh, soil bags and see if I can make uh, some more crops. I will be back in a little bit. Okay, guys, I decided to uh, up my game <laughs> a little bit. And I'm starting to hesitate though if I did the right thing because I used to have 15 plots. I've extended it with a couple of more rows and I think I now have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I now have 35 plots so that's a little bit more than double of what I had before. I'm gonna have to wait until the, the raid happens in about 17 in-game hours which is 17 minutes. And yeah see if meanwhile i can upgrade some more of these concrete thingies here well these stone thingies to concrete uh, so that i'm at least a little bit safer in in my little place here and then uh it's gonna be a waiting game wait until the uh, raid happens and yeah i guess i will bring you guys back but i'm starting to doubt if i should have doubled uh the amount the amount of plots i have here but anyway uh give me 15 minutes and uh, i will uh, show you the, the result Okay, a little update on the defenses. So, I did place concrete bars in here. Every two, well, I have a bar of concrete and then two empty spots. Then again, a bar of concrete, which is at least five blocks uh, out. And the idea is it allows me to still work on, walk on here without falling in between the blocks. But it should also block the... The bots from incoming i mean they, they, they will try to swing at something and i'm hoping they will break these blocks first which are a little bit more dur durable than the normal stones so it will take them a while before they can get through this de defense and once they are through this that defense then there is still some minor things here but yeah they they will break that pretty fast so that's currently my main line of defense and uh, yeah i thought why not up my game a, l a little bit and instead of having uh, 15 crops I now have 35 and I'm starting to doubt to hesitate if, if that was actually a good idea to have that many ongoing now because in about a minute or so I will get a raid and normally I get three little ones and one uh, farm bot hmm. but that was with between 9 to 15 plots and now I have, yeah, 35 of them. So yeah, we, we will see in about a minute what happens. I'm ready. I'm hoping they will not be able to touch me while I'll be still able to swing at them. So I'm, I'm really hoping this will work out. I, I'm not sure. Uh, with the little ones, it did work out pretty nicely. But yeah, the little ones, they don't really do all that much damage to you. But if one of the farm bots can reach me with his arms, then this defense will be, well, worthless. I'm calling it the Atlantic Wall. <laughs> because at, at the coast here in Belgium, they had a lot of uh, concrete blocks to protect the coastline from incoming uh, amphibic vehicles, tanks and stuff like that. So they had something like that. Well, it was a little bit bigger and, and better. But yeah, I'm, I'm calling this my Atlantic Wall. We will see. In about... How many? 30 seconds? Uh oh, it's happening. It's happening. Like, there they are. They, they are incoming. So I see a couple of farm bots. They are unable to get to get to my thing. I'm. Oh no, this will not work. I need to get too close. 
Yeah, this one is dead. Yeah, yeah, come here, you fool. Okay, that's done. Little ones. Little ones can't seem to hit me from here. Any, any, any Anything else? Anything else? Anything else? Wait. Oh, there is, there is a second wave incoming or what? No. Wait, that's it? That's it? Well. It was an anticlimax earlier, but this isn't even better. I mean, I have... I have double the, the plots. Even more than double of the plots. And what did I get? Three farm bots? Two or three farm bots? And about five little ones? Ah, look, they were able to break a couple of concrete blocks. The farm bots did break a couple. The little ones, well, there was a farm bot here too. So, yeah, they did break something. Oh, there is another one up here. They did break something, but they did not get through the defense line. So that's interesting. I think it worked. I think it worked. I'm not going to say if I get uh, a lot more farm bots, then I might be in trouble, but this did work. Is anything ready? Oh, yes. Let's get rid of them before I get another warning again. Well, it did work. So... There's no question about that. Maybe I should make it a little bit wider. I mean, uh, add a couple of blocks on top of that. So I have some more room to walk around. I think I will do that, actually. Repair whatever has been broken, if I still have some concrete on me. Yeah, I have some, not a lot. So I need to make more concrete. Okay, let's repair the damage. There is a block missing here. Here, here here and I did not place that one nope it's like three blocks four blocks five blocks six blocks seven blocks I think they broke seven blocks of concrete which is okay I don't mind that if I have to replace seven blocks of concrete for getting a, a huge amount of seeds then that's fine with me I think it's working I think I will improve this a little bit by making a little bit longer and see if yeah if I can figure something out that yeah makes it a little bit tougher for them to get closer and maybe add some defenses later on expand the farming area but it is working it is working so yeah okay but sadly this is all the time I have for today I hope you did enjoy this video if you did feel free to leave me a little comment and press that thumbs up button and uh, subscribe to the channel if you didn't like it let me know in the comment section what you didn't like so I can improve it as well. And feel free to also subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell and follow me on Twitch as well. You will find all those links in the comment section below the video. So this will be it for today. And until next time, have fun and stay safe. Goodbye everyone.